Okay. Um, so I am going to summon on this banner. So I, I made that video because I wasn't sure if I was going to summon, but um, see, I saw the next banner and I'm probably not going to summon on that either. Um, and I don't plan on spending too many orbs, though, uh, of course, those are um, famous last words, right? Um, I could end up spending all like three or four hundred of these orbs that I have uh, and end up with nothing. Um, it's happened before, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like let's just get in here. I mean, if we like I said, like I said in that review, I mean, I don't need her. We're, we're doing pretty solid. Um, but I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have her. So I'm going to come in here, uh, see what I can do. If I pull her, great. Um, if I pull a life, I also basically that's one of the other major reasons I want to pull on this is I think um, I can do a lot better with life than I can with like another unit. So um, yeah, like I think let's go double check this real quick. I mentioned this in the thing. Uh, he, he occupies the same thing as as um, as Duma. The same. Um, they're both anima. Um, and I think that life is going to be a lot better. For one, he'll give us more speed, which increases your survivability as well as your kill secure, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's just really good um, because now you can double and you avoid getting doubled, right? So that, that's a good thing, right? Uh, and secondly, he's also another red threat that has more range than Duma does. But he can be given also more range by the ground orders from the, from the Makaya, right? So... You know, this is kind of the main reason I, I'm decided to pull in here is is after you know thinking about it some more time, I'm actually beginning to value this life a little bit more on my defense to maybe just replace the Duma. But it's going to be really hard to to deny uh, Duma's like infinite level catapult um, C slot passive. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully I get either him or I get um, her. I really don't want any more Celifs like. For one, I already have, like I said, I already have a Celif, which I didn't really want to begin with. Uh, and I already have, like, two green Hectors, which I don't use a whole lot of tanks, so there's no really reason to use them. Uh, and I've got two Distant Counters off of him for whoever I want. I just don't have any targets for Distant Counter currently, uh, aside from, like, maybe... Um, I guess if, if I do get him, uh, I'll, it'll, be at to the, it'll be to the point where I'll just fodder him off to, like, Itsuki. Who could definitely use this um, and distant counter to be like a, a an arena score bot? But the problem with that is like if I do fodder him off to Itsuki, I, I only have a plus one Itsuki, and I'm not gonna go invest Grails to get a you know a plus ten anytime soon. I mean, I will eventually. I do. I have liked Itsuki for a while, uh, but investing in him is gonna be a, a ways off because first of all, right now I'm working on um, Echidna. For those of you who already know. Uh, and I'm working on the um, the Brunya, which is going to be my next project. Um, and I'm also working on Minerva, so I'm I'm, I'm gathering Grails to get 500, uh, and then finally just buy off my last Minerva, and I'll have a plus 10 Minerva, and you know go forward from there. And then after so after her comes Brunya, and then after Brunya, assuming no other units get released, uh, then comes the um, the Itsuki. So like I said, he's still a ways off. Um, but like, yeah, just ultimately the point of this is that like, hopefully I don't get a Celif, but if I do, uh, you know, it's gonna suck. Um, other than that, not a whole else, not not a whole, not a whole lot else. I don't really want uh, anything in blue. Like I'm gonna avoid blue, like the plague here. So I'm gonna be sniping red, uh, and then if I have to, go to green, uh, and then colorless. Uh, and then blue at the very end. So focusing red and green right now. And then colorless, all I want is him for a close foil on attack and low attack speed. Like just in one swoop, I got them both. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can take his... I think you, can take, you might be able to take his dagger, but it's not really useful. Um, to me, anyway. Um, Leaf, uh, most of you already know I don't like Leaf. Uh, he's just kind of... don't really care about him. Uh, and then Dumas, I mean, if I get more Duma merges, it's going to be harder to, to trade him out for life, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and actually, I think my inventory is full, so I'm going to have to clean that out. I just kind of jumped in here, but yeah, I'll be back. Uh, okay. So I, I opened 30 slots. Um, <laughs> hopefully it's enough to get something. Uh, we'll feel out how this goes. I, I kind of just want to stop uh, after I get one 5-star, uh, period. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of feel it out. 
Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, three, 377 orbs. Um, I felt like it was kind of okay to, to let go of a few just because we've gotten so many, like, over the, you know, just in a short period, they've actually been giving us quite a few. So I was like, well, let's just kind of drop a few and, and, and see how we go from there. Um, plus, I have, like, I haven't done anything since, like, halfway through Chapter 2 on the story. So there's a bunch of orbs over there, too. Um, and then there's a bunch of other orbs kind of scattered throughout that I can just kind of pick up as well. Uh, which I'll have to be, I'll have to start working on because, yeah, that's actually, it takes a while. Uh, and also, I didn't want to throw away this free summon. So let's just get in there and, and pull on some... Um, unfortunately, I, for those of you, I get, well, I don't know, yeah, I haven't been, since I started this channel, I've been kind of uh, reducing my summoning, um, on color, on red, just because red is, it's not a good color to summon on, there's, there's rarely stuff you need out of red, or that you should be getting out of red, at least from my account, like, I, I used to summon a lot on red because I had, like, I liked Roy's, I liked, um, you know, just there was a lot of red. There was a lot of red units that I, you know, I would, I got kind of baited into summoning for. So, um, yeah. Uh, so here's Selena. Um, but yeah, so like Roy and Legendary Roy, I have like a plus one or two Legendary Roy, and Tharsh is always nice to have. Um, I really wish I could uh, build a, a Tharsha. Okay, so that's four summons down. The appearance rates change at five, right? So uh, as soon as I do this next one, should get me. Um, and I only got one here, so it should be eight point five now, eight point five percent. Okay. So I'll cane the bull. Stop, and I should go check this just in case. Yeah, so it's every five summons you get um, a rate increase. So that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, we didn't get anything here, so let's just pull on the colorless. Uh, from colorless, of course, I need Norn. Um, that's about it, just Norn and like... Uh, you can't get off-banner, like five stars, you can't get off-banner units. Um, but of course, you know, in colorless, I need anyone who has close counter. Um, so that's that. So I, I did four... Let's do these. Let's do this red and these uh, three colorless. Um, just to sort of get us another increased rate here for cheaper. Um, funnily enough, I think I actually might uh, reset my, my pity here. Uh, I've actually started to just like fodder off like any um, <laughs> any more healers that I get. Uh, just because, I don't know, healers have never been useful other than I, I want to plus 10 my um, Mercedes at some point, but like, like, like I said, uh, earlier, I've got like way too many merge projects I'm working on right now, um, but it's good to have her. Like, I'll ha it's good to have them like stored away uh, for when I'm ready. But like, other than that, like all these healers are just kind of like I I'm just gonna fodder them all off now because <laughs> there's no reason to have them anymore. Uh, we should be at nine percent now, right? Yep. Uh, so this little like increases over time. The little percentage thing that increases over time. I'm gonna do all these except for uh, that. That's that's one. Let's go see what we get in green. Uh, like I said, Micaiah is always good. Um, she's due for a refine. Not not soon, but uh, in a timely manner, she'll probably get one. So that's always uh, that's always great. Um, Yoon could be kind of useful just to increase like your lift loss reduction. Um, but other than that, so that's three. Um, the next one. So this one, hopefully I get two reds or something. Okay, so one red. Of course. Um, I think I'm going to stop then. Uh, it's a bit of a short video. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be it. Uh, there's really no reason to keep going. Um, I just, for one, I didn't want to waste the initial five summon. Um, and you know, I was just like, well, let's kind of figure. Let's just go in here and, and see what we get. Um, I guess since I already got them, I'll pull. I'll pull the other two greens uh, and the uh, the colorless uh, while I'm here. Um, but yeah, this this is basically just he's not very useful to me to this account. Let's go 
We'll pick up these two greens, see if we get a, an Echidna or something, and then maybe a Norn merge off of that. There you go, there's my Mikaya. So basically I'm happy now. Um, two five stars. Um, let's see who we get. I really want the, the green Celica too. Come on, let's, let's see if we get her. Please, just give her to me. Uh, we got Bartre. Um, and then finally we'll, we'll see what we get off of this colorless, uh, colorless one here. Come on, Norn. And we got him, cool. Uh, so this turned out basically many, many times over um, better than I could have hoped for. Uh, close foil, I, I, I'm more in need of close counter than I am in need of close foil because people are starting to run more dragons on their defenses. Um, but there's no denying that close foil is going to be a strong, um, is, is a very strong uh, skill. So I'll have to figure out who I'm, who I want to give it to um with this attack speed three right now i'm kind of thinking about maybe like giving it to brunya just like both of these to brunya and then having her sort out whatever she wants to do from there um but it, like it, it you know you got to think about these things you can't just like oh yeah I'll just give it to her and then peace out um especially because like if i give her this and this um I won't be then. I will. I, I will then not probably not give her the uh, the skills like that. Like Scythia has. She has this. She has a lull, uh, lull speed res, and then I forgot the other one. She has she has a bunch, but I forgot what the other two were. I think one of them's uh, the first one's attack speed push four. Um, so that's just important to consider. It's kind of interesting that flyers and and tanks can't take these, but calves can. So I could probably give this to like um, uh, what's her name give something like this to a uh, my veronica uh that'd be pretty insane like veronica with attack speed push four with low res that's that's actually kind of interesting uh but anyway yeah i'll have to figure out who to give this to um it's probably just gonna be brunya all in all because it helps the plus five defense helps patch up her low defense stat uh plus i i, I want to run her on astra um, where you know that this with this she becomes bulky both physically and and like her rest stat and her and her um, and her defense stat become bulky, uh, and then the speed the low attack speed kind of helps her survive. Um, but I don't know we'll have to see. Um, fortunately, we got basically you know all the luck in the world minus the the luck on on pulling on red consider <laughs> which is kind of sad considering my. Uh, my past, uh, you could say, kind of like loyalty to red, and we got an attack, a plus attack Micaia, which is exactly what you want. I, I think I have a plus speed Micaia, which is like the worst one because both of the Micaias I had before <laughs> were plus speed. Um, but plus attack is even better because her main job is to just like destroy tanks, and if you can, like, she's gonna die if if she doesn't one shot a tank because on the retaliation they're just gonna hit her, and her defense stat is so low it's not even funny. Uh, so even if she can double tanks, because a lot of tanks are slow, even if she can double them, um, they're just gonna like when it's their turn, they're just gonna hit you back for one shot. But with the plus attack, it's it's just perfect. Like it's exactly what she wants. Um, but yeah, so that that's finally cool. I finally have a maybe Mikhail will do a little bit better on defense. We'll see. Um, I'm actually I actually have a re uh, uh, a defense recap coming up, so we'll we'll take a look at how that goes um on this you know this coming week on monday i guess um but yeah other than that i mean great fantastic um plus attack uh you are getting foddered off to itsuki um <laughs> yeah there's not a whole lot much more to it just uh itsuki's gonna have some pretty decent fodder which is pretty good because I mean, for one he's gonna have this uh you can't take that of course but he's also gonna have this oh that's actually not as good as i thought it would be yeah, it's uh I thought it was the passive like give both people four in combat defense. Uh the visible is not too bad. Uh it's still a 300 SP skill, so that's going to help with scoring. Um but you know what's really going to help with scoring? Getting Itsuki merges and I'm not going to have Itsuki merges. Uh, but basically it's just another um another distant counter another distant counter to add to the pile uh, for whenever I a, a hero comes out where I really think they need it. Um I think I might have a video talking about the new banner coming up. So let's stop. Uh, the new banner coming up. Uh, they dropped the, the reveal of it and all that stuff. So I might have a video talking about because um, one of the four. There's a four star. 
in there that looks very interesting. Like I, I really want to, um, I really want to try try him out. Uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna summon for that. Um, again, I mean it's the same as this one. But seeing as it's a four star, it's a four star uh, seasonal unit. So unfortunately, even though it's a four star, you're not gonna like. And I don't know. I'll talk. I'll talk about it th in that video. But um, that one more than here, I think, is gonna be more of like like here. The chance to pull her is is very useful. Uh, in there, the chance to pull him is not so good, especially because well, for one, he's a four star, but for two, um, I'm not gonna use him. Like, I just want him because he looks kind of interesting. His tome is pretty cool, but other than that, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, so we so we made it out of here, only burning seventy orbs. Um, I say only, but I mean, you know, for one, it's not that much, but it's also not nothing. Um, I was well on the way to hitting uh, 400 orbs, which is a good number going forward. Um, you know, just want to keep getting those orbs. Uh, but regardless, I got some pretty good fodder here, and um, Makaya or yeah, Makaya can always use more merges, um, especially like I'm just I'm just waiting. Like after after what they gave to um, <laughs> to Vector, I'm just waiting to see what her refine brings next uh, next time. Um, I have a plus one her, and I have a plus one. Uh, Brave Camilla, was she is she too new, or was she with this batch? I think she's with this batch. So with with Makaya's batch, uh, so if she is, she's gonna be due for a refine too. And and that's like, I only run three healers in this game. That's colorless, or colorless is the only. Well, I guess she has other ones now. Uh, but it's it's it's, Veron it's staff wielding Veronica, um, Maribel only because she came. I I have like a plus two or plus three of her. Uh, Cause she came with five. She's a five star, and you, I just kind of you just kind of pull her randomly off of stuff. I don't know where, um, but her and I've decided I'm gonna probably invest in her. But but for two, she's also a cab unit, which is the best kind for uh, healers. So they can move around, both get in and get out easily. Uh, and lastly, the only other healer I use is um, the colorless Micaiah or the colorless Camilla, the the, the staff Camilla, uh, because she's insanely annoying. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I don't use a whole lot of other ones, but. Um, yeah, so I'm interested to see both of their refines. I don't know who else came with this, uh, this batch of, this batch of, uh, Brave Heroes, but, um, I'm not sure what you can do to her to make her better. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, you know, Bector, there are some things that looking at his weapon, you could be like, okay, this is what you would give him. Like, the reduction of his, his, um, his quick repost was brought down from 50% to 25%. So it's like, well, that, that's a pretty obvious one. But the fact that he just negates all um, penalties and the fact that he removes the fact that he's an armor, like, that's, that was a little that was a little far, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, I do wonder what you can do for her because with him, everything they gave him made him like a stronger, just solo tank. Just like sit here, tank everything and kill them on the, on the, on the, on the you know, the, the, the counter, right? Um, Micaiah, what she does is a lot of like, her job is to, for one, give this to everybody and then take advantage of the debuffs you got on them and then kind of just do better against them, right? Um, and also snipe, you know, mainly the way I use her is as I, I like her there to snipe uh, cabs and, and armors. Um, so I have no idea what you would want to do to something like this that you would give her, maybe just give her stuff to, to, to destroy armors. Like it, it's a, it's a question of like, what did they envision for her? What's what's her purpose, right? What do you want to accentuate with her refine? Um, with Bector, they wanted to just make him more survivable. They removed his armor weakness. They removed his ability to be debuffed. They made it easier for him to quick repost. And then they dropped... They gave him the... Like, reduced the enemy's attack by six. Um, so now he's even tankier. And then they gave him the ability to... Um, negate their follow-up so they don't have they can't follow up on you and then they get they reduce their their uh, defense by six so you can kill them easier before they uh get a chance to kill you so all of the things in his ref refine were meant to accentuate what vector already did which was just kind of sit there and tank and destroy people uh, of course it was he wasn't always the best at it but you know at the time that's kind of what you wanted to use him for um and they just accentuated that to to the max basically um the same way with like Irvin ike right his refine was just kind of like consequential to that it was just like well um they have this 
uh, he has reduction on his on his thing, 40%, and they just like, well, we'll force them to double you, and then we'll give you even more reduction on that. Um, so, you know, that's it. You know, Basically, they, they made Irvin Ike do the thing he did, which is just soak hits even better. And the question is, what, what, what does Micaiah, what did their vision was for her? Was it to just snipe the way, I mean, the way I assume, it's just to snipe um, ca uh, calves and, and armors or be a mass debuffer because that'd be pretty cool like if they if they give her more debuffs i i all i want right here if they give her panic there's there's no question anymore for those of you who saw my other videos i was questioning whether running her or like uh, aversa but if they give her a res scaling panic it's over like there's no like she'll be best in slot for your defense uh, i think anyway the the massive coverage uh the ground orders if you're running a flyer ball and if you're not running a flyer ball, the ground orders is still even good. The fact that she has these debuffs, minus six attack and speed, plus if she has like a um, a panic effect built into her weapon, and she gets all the buff, the debuffs they have on, or yeah, all the penalties they have on them, it's like it's over. Like I, there's no more contest, and I'm just gonna run Makaya on my defense forever. But like I said, that, that's that's a ways from now. Um, I I'm you know. If she gets the panic, I am more than happy because that's the only thing that I'm missing on my defense is like people like how, how do you do, how do you beat my defense? You just kind of bring a unit in here, buff them all to hell, and then have them tank everything. Where now that's not going to be as effective. I mean, it's still probably going to lose to that a lot of the time, but now it's not going to be as effective. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of especially with like Vector running around, right? Hopefully this is recording for those of you um, OBS last time during the, the last Aether Raise video. <laughs> Uh, had an update before that video came out and then I updated it and then I recorded the video and then what happened happened so I mean it's looking like this one looks fine but uh, hopefully the uh, same thing doesn't happen again uh, I fixed it by the by the time the uh, Guild War video was out but uh, yeah uh, but yeah so uh, you know we had a pretty successful run I got this uh, her and him which is basically what I wanted um, so there you go uh this Celica here, like I said, she's fine, but she's like, she fulfills similar purpose to um, Thrasir, but Thrasir pulls double duty because she's a good Aether Raids um, defense unit. Um, of course, she she's good for Arena, right? Because she's got this uh, blessing and all that stuff. But this account doesn't really care about Arena, and, and unless you're a whale, you, you really shouldn't care about Arena either. I mean, you should try to get as high as you can, right? Hit... 18 19 20 you know whatever but don't worry about 21 to a large degree unless you have the money to get there um you know or unless you're like the unless you're like acarus and you really kind of want to put yourself through that um and you min max like every single orb you get uh, only to get shafted on <laughs> on rates i can't believe that happened uh, that's still funny to me uh, but yeah like i, I want celica just because i mean she, her artwork looks really good i like her in this armor uh, i just I'm a sucker for uh, women in in, in 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 you know good armor, um, and you know I've I've liked Celica for a while. I just don't have any Celicas for some reason. She's just like she's never had a unit variant that I've been like, dude, I need that unit because for one, you know I'm largely a flyer user. Uh, for two, uh, her base all, all the version all her alts are just not as like interesting as as um, as others have been. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, hopefully you guys uh, get some decent luck. I've had some pretty good luck myself uh, these past few banners. Of course, it's kind of like awkward luck, right? Like in the, in the last banner, I got a bunch of five stars, but they were kind of just like random, uh, you know, that had, you know, we're just kind of there. Um, I didn't have too much luck on the thing I wanted. Um, were, you know, I did have some, right? I'm not going to complain and say, you know, it was garbage. No, I, I did have some. I, I pulled a the, the green axe flyer. I already forgot their names because I don't really care. Um, but you know, other than that, and here I, I pulled, you know, like, there you go. I pulled three, three, five stars in one ring. Um, but <laughs> none of the ones I wanted, but, uh, not the main one I wanted, uh, and then not the main secondary I wanted, but at least I got the third and the fourth. Um, uh, but yeah, so basically, uh, what's the word? It's like, it's kind of like backhanded luck. It's like, oh, here it is. And then you just take a backhand to the face. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, uh, good luck to you guys out there. Hopefully, uh, it goes decently well for you.